My name is Duddit, it's the new builds and stuff, and today I've got a Stasis Hunter build where we're going to be taking advantage of Shatter Dive, we're going to be smashing enemies to bits, causing loads and loads of damage, excellent for ad clearing, really really good, and we're also going to be featuring not only the smashing effects, but we're going to be doing some really nice damage. We're going to be featuring Mask of Bacchus alongside the Shatter Dive. Mask of Bacchus is really underrated at the moment, it's super super strong. But excellent for ad clearing this build and excellent for damage. Stay tuned, I'm going to break it all down. So, Shatter Dive, activate while I'm at air to quickly descend and shatter nearby targets on impact, pair that with a glacier grenade, in case your enemies and you just cause so much damage, and Whisper of Fishes, increase the damage and the size and the best of stasis when you destroy a target. This just adds to the damage and adds to the ad clearing capabilities. And in end game content, GM level content, this thing absolutely melts loads and loads of groups of enemies. It's very, very underrated. But you can see there, it just absolutely causes carnage, really, really strong. Even against mages and champions, it does quite a lot of damage. Really, really underrated this season. Now, a couple of grenade mods just to focus on for a minute to get the best out of Shatter Dive and your Glacier Grenade. Grenade Kickstart, whenever you, your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. So, get an armor charge for your grenade, you get about 15% of your grenade back. But this one, not many people know about. Firepower never used to work with Stasis Grenades, but as long as you encase that enemy with your Glacier Grenade, do your Shatter Dive. You, that is causing damage with the grenade, therefore you are causing an orb of power with your firepower. So I thought I'd chuck that one in and that obviously works nice with grenade kickstart because you always got that orb of power to proc your grenade kickstart. Now Mask of Bacchus is the exotic of choice, replaces your stasis subclass dodge ability with a longer range faster moving shift that partially cloaks you during use. After shifting, your stasis and arc weapons get a 25% damage increase, stasis and arc. But then, one of the downsides with Bacchus is you can't use your class ability and you don't get any class regen for about 10 seconds after you use it. But in the next clip, I've got a grenade mod to show you that really helps sort this out. But 25% extra on stasis and arc weapons is really, really strong. So, to combat that light shift cooldown, bolstering detonation, every time you cause damage with a grenade, you are going to get big chunks of class ability back. And this one works perfectly again with... Uh, the Shard Dive and the uh, Glish Grenade, because you'll see here, whenever you cause damage with a grenade via your shattered, uh, shattered Dive, you get big chunks of your class ability back. So I thought I'd chuck that one in. Now the damage from Mask of Bacchus, we're just going to run through that real quickly. I just want to say again, it doesn't focus, it doesn't stack with Weapon Surges, but 5,991 just for doing a shot of your hand cannon. Quick light shift and you're gonna see that go up to 7, 4, 8, 9. That's the 25% damage increase. So it's not bad at all, but these stack with things like collective action, weapon perks, whenever you pick up an elemental shard or a tangle or a void breach, something like that, it gives you a 20% damage increase. So it's a really nice one to stack with. And we're gonna get loads of stasis shards with Grim Harvest, defeating Slowdown Frozen Combatants, create stasis shards. These shards grant melee energy, so you can keep collective action going. And then obviously pairing with your Shatter Dive, you're gonna get shards literally coming out your poop hole all the time, very, very easy. So I'm gonna show you these stacking together now. 5,991 was the first shot. Pick up a shard, do my light shift dodge, and you're gonna see a whopping massive damage increase of 50% which you can do pretty much all the time with this build. So it's super, super nice. This way I'm not too worried about the weapon surges on the legs. It's a really nice little combo. But collective action isn't the only thing it stacks with, even though this rolls on quite a lot of weapons, like distant pull, loads of different weapons collective action rolls on, stasis and arc weapons in particular. But things like bait and switch, uh, this also stacks with backrest, things like explosive light. So you sort of get the drift where we're going. Uh, with Mask of Bacchus, you can take advantage big time of all the weapon perks as well. And now we're just going to do some sort of weapon pairings that work really well with Bacchus and this setup. Cold Heart is actually really strong because this has got basically inbuilt uh, target lock in there as well. I'm going to pair this with Hothead, and all you're going to see is whatever we've just talked about. Do my little light shift dodge, and then you've got your Cold Heart and your rocket launcher to do that extra damage. A flat 25% damage straight off the bat, plus your explosive light on your rocket launcher, just simply by dodging, and it is really, really strong. With regards to your class ability cooldown as well, you've got that bolstering detonation going on, so you're not really having to worry about you getting your class ability back too much for that light shift. You can literally just constantly keep doing this, uh, hardly any cooldown at all. 
so you're going to put out some serious damage literally just by doing a little dodge like so and it's perfect for all different types of situations quick fast damage on the fly whenever you want just do your quick dodge and put out some serious dps like i said perfect for bosses mages champions things like that just literally just quick instant dps on the fly so all we're going to do now is just go over my fragments just to sort of get them finished clarified so we know where we're at shatter dive We've already gone through that one. Grim Harvest, uh, defeating slowed off frozen combatants, created stasis shards. We've already briefly touched on that one. Glacier Grenade is definitely one of what you want to be using on this build. Now, with regards to the dodge, I always run maximum dodge to reload my weapon, just for the backrest perk as well. You don't want to be having to reload once you've got your backrest perk uh, procced. You want to be taking full advantage, so maximum dodge is what I'll run. But you can always switch out to Gambler's Dodge for your melee if you wish. Whisper of Change, every time you near one of these stasis crystals, you are going to take reduced damage, 40% damage reduction, plus it gives you 10 recovery, so that's a nice one. Whisper of Conduction, all the stasis shards that you create, they want to be travelling towards you, so we'll stick that one on, we don't want to be running out and collecting them, let them come to you. Whisper of Shard, shattering the stasis crystal, temporarily boost your grenade recharge rate, that pairs nicely with all the other mods that we've talked to, you get a nice big chunk of grenade energy back from that one. Whisper of Fishers, which we've already touched on too. And then also Whisper of Rhyme, so all them stasis shards do heal you and give you a little overshield. Now on my arms, which we've sort of touched on already, Grenade Kickstart, uh, which again we did touch on just for the grenade recharge rate. Firepower, which we've touched on for plenty of orbs. Bolstering Detonation for your class ability. Really, really good little set of uh, mods. Firepower procs your Grenade Kickstart every time, as long as you get a kill with your Shard Dive, which you will pretty much all of the time because it's super, super strong. Now we'll go to the class item, uh, Reaper is an obvious one to use every time I dodge, uh, your next weapon kill will spawn an of power and then I stack out my grenade recharge rate even more with Bomber, double Bomber to give you grenade energy every time you dodge. On my legs I run Innovation, reduces a cooldown for your grenade every time you pick up an orb of power and then I also run Elemental Charge, that's another way to get my armor charge going for my grenade kickstart every time I pick up a shard. It's going to give a chance to give me a charge of armor stack as well. So that one's a pretty nice one to run. On my helmet, arc siphon or kinetic siphon or whatever you're running, arc or stasis siphons just for plenty of orbs and then heavy ammo finder on top. Now I just want to show you Trax Cannon how this interacts with backrest because we're going to get another 30% on everything you've seen. Your backrest, your 30%. So with regards to tractor cannon every time you hit something with this it's going to suppress them which is really good for overload champions by the way and it gives you a 30 percent damage increase pairing that with something like control burst and backrest at the same time if you can pull this off you put out some absolutely huge damage quick example shatter dive quick tractor cannon activate my light shift and look at them numbers absolutely crazy uh, really good again in gms and things like that if you can pull that off absolutely wrecks champions you're going to see in a moment i'm just literally shatter dive tractor cannon couple of uh, control bear shots and it's destroyed easy easy days and the stacking damage potential with this is absolutely crazy because we've got 30 percent from the debuff from the tractor cannon 25 percent from the max of bacchus and a further 20 percent from the control best but you can mix and match all these perks up with bacchus what we've touched on like bait and switch collective action things like that one for all all these perks all stack with backrest so it's super super strong very very potent indeed so that's the video uh, i'm gonna leave everything playing out uh, i'll leave the dim link in the video description i'll leave the build playing out at the end let me know what you think of this video thanks for watching i hope you have a great weekend